Um, yeah, we'd like to acknowledge that the Minister has made significant changes and we welcome it. It's a stronger and wider definition than the first draft. But we still have concerns and we'd like to see the actual responsibility placed on manufacturers and producers. As the wording currently is, it can seem that the same practices, i.e. the unsustainable use of materials, etc., can continue with an emphasis solely on efficiency and usage. So we think it needs to be wider and to seek the end of the possibility that anyone can continue to make profits from the old ways of doing business, which has been to use economic jargon as an externality of cost to society. So we welcome the changes, but we still think the language remains vague and open to get out clauses. And we would like to ask the Minister, I know you explained it there, but if you could just explain again why you have removed the line to hold food and what is the logic in removing this. Is this a sop to the lobbying that we've had from the industry? Because it seems to me that it would be absolutely central that we would specifically uh, identify what single-use plastic or product of, is overwhelmingly used for here. If it's to widen the scope of the definition, then I can understand, but why not then add to the uses as opposed to removing the specific uh, use of to hold food. If the Minister, if you could please explain your thinking on that. 